Bokir Toh, we continue to take me to Dale, there's a Toh. We've been looking at the, that the, the Gemara, which, which imagines what happened, the chaos at the sea. One version of the Gemara presumes that everybody, when the water split, everyone said, you go, I'll go first, I'll go first, I'll go first. Um, the, other, the other imagines that no, um, that everybody was frightened to go in. And apparently the waters have not, again, it's not so clear, the waters have not departed uh, yet. And the Gemara actually goes, and, and, and so Nachshon jumps in, we're told. And Moshe is, is, is still davening that, and, and now the, the Gemara presumes we go back to the earlier verses, that Daber Abedin Yisrael, Yisrael, and the guy says, what are you crying to me? Tell the children of Israel to march forth, just to go. Okay. Um, and for that reason, Yehuda is to be praised. Here, I'll bring us back to the, 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 the Midrash Agada, which makes it clearer for us. Um, why was Nachshon called Nachshon? She arad la Nachshol shel yam tchila b'terem shenikba shenivka that he went down into the Nachshol Nachshol and we're playing with the Nachshon Nachshol to the breakers of the water before it had split and those letters switch. The kach zacha Yehuda malchut. For that reason, Yehuda. Um, what became deserving of leadership and kingship. Shneimar b'tzeit Yisrael Mitzrayim ha'ita Yehuda l'kadsho. When 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 Israel left Egypt, Yehuda becomes the one that's sanctified. The because of because of what happened there on their departure. Melamed shekidei shemo shel kadosh baruch hayam. This teaches us. That Yehuda, and specifically through Nachshon, who was a Yehudaite, um, he sanctified God's name at the sea. Lakach Yisrael, Lakach Yisrael Shen Hashem Moshe Yisrael. That's what made um, Yehuda the leaders of Israel. Nachshon is seen as this um, as this figure, who, um, you know, you say it's suicidal to jump in, but he says, "I believe. I believe that God is here to save us. God didn't bring us here to destroy us." And, and you guys are all panicked, and everyone's uh, anxious about what should happen, and no one's going in. I'm going to take the plunge. I'm going to take the plunge. And therefore, Nachshon is seen as um, this, this great figure of faith and affirmation of God, who will be, because of his merit, uh, you know, the tribe of Yehuda gets to, uh, to, to, to play its leadership role. But indeed, um, we're, we're, you know, we, we understand that, um, that, 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 that his wife, who was take it back, I mean his wife, his sister, Elisheva, but I mean Adav. The Torah says by, when it describes earlier on by Kach Aharon Elisheva Badamin Adav Achot Nachshon. Why would the Torah tell us that the that Aaron took Elisheva, the daughter of Amin Adav, the sister of Nachshon, as a wife? So the Gemara says, Mimashma, right, so we know this already. Mikan Shanosei Shat Sarifshi Vdok Achiha. You know what? When you're going to marry a woman, you should check out her brother. Check out her brother, um, and that's um, and because because children somehow com- are, have <laughs> appear to be like their uncles. I don't know exactly how that works. Um, um, and Aaron said, I, "This Nachshon is such a character, which apparently earlier on already a character of such um, such quality, and indeed it's borne out by his actions at this sea." Let's be on our own Nachshons in difficult times. Find the courage to step forward with our faith. Make a difference for us, for us all. Have a great day.